Hello everybody, welcome to another episode on the One Bedroom House series. And today what we're going to do is to continue where we left off on the drainage and electrical plan. In other words, we're going to be adding annotations and some, you know, details to flesh it out, make it ready for print and send off. See me I say? In the meantime, if it's your first time on the channel, be sure to, you know, hit the subscribe button, share, and drop a comment, especially if you learned something new. And I can almost bet, just almost. Let's do it. All right, guys. So here we are back in AutoCAD architecture. And today we're going to be looking at the drainage and electrical plan. So of course, as you already know, we're going to be adding some annotations and some notes to this drawing to make it sheet ready, so to speak. And as you can see here, we have both drainage and electrical showing on this drawing. Now, there will be instances where you might want to separate these two drawings, especially if they are very complex and detailed. So, you know, bear that in mind. In this case, of course, this is just a simple drawing, not a lot of components, not a lot of fixtures. So we're going to be adding them both on this one view or this one drawing. So as you can see, we have brought in all our constructs that we need. Let me go to the X reference panel. As you can see, we have our drainage layout there. We have the electrical layout fixtures and the ground floor drawing itself. And if you're not seeing one or the other, you can go to the views tab, right click on that view, go to properties, go to content and go ahead and check all the ones that you want to see. Of course, I don't want to see structural in this view. So I did not select that. All right. So I'm going to minimize this. And of course, we're seeing some stuff that we don't want to be seeing in this view. So we're going to be freezing some layers. But before we do that, let's go ahead and tag our rooms because eventually we're going to need to freeze the space layer as well. But before we freeze it, we want to tag the rooms. So go ahead and tag your rooms, guys. You already know how to do this. So I'm going to just do one and then just like that, a little bit of video magic tricks. All of them is done. So go ahead, tag your rooms. And from there, we can go ahead and freeze the layers that we don't need. So of course, I don't want to see the roof. I don't want to see space. I don't want to see these guys here. And I definitely don't want to see that. I'm going to just keep the main things that I need, such as the fixtures, because we do need to know where the kitchen sink is. We do need to know where the toilet and the drains are. All right. I'm going to freeze this one as well. And then we keep everything else. And then from here, we can go ahead and kind of move these around so that they're not blocking anything that is important, such as the light or electrical fixtures there. All right, so make sure that you get that adjusted. I think I'm going to move this down a little bit, like probably about here. All right, so from here, what we're going to do is to go ahead and add some annotations to our drainage system. All right, so what we're going to do here is to go ahead and go to our text. And we're going to type m.h.1. Dot. MH, as we all know, stands for manhole, and we give it a number, a unique number at the end there, so that we can identify which manhole this is referring to. All right, because of course we have multiple manholes, and so giving them a unique number or name will help to uh, identify them individually. All right, so what I did there was to just copy that one, give it a new number. I'm going to copy it again. And I'm going to give it a new number. And if you notice how I am numbering them in a um, chronological order or in a sequential order at the uh, closest end to the house, we start at one and then at the furthest end, we end with the larger number. All right. So you kind of want to keep your thing a little bit organized. You wouldn't want to put one up here and then two down here and then three there. You know, you kind of confuse the thing like that. So we're going to leave it at that. All right. So let's name the... These are the guys here. Of course, we already know what these are. Trap Gully Basin. So T, G, B. And we don't have to give these a number because, of course, this is just one here. If I had more than one, then I would give it a number. Uh, but in this case, they uh, we only have one. So, And this would be Grease Trap Basin. 
All right, good. So we have those labeled and that's that. Then we're going to go ahead and label our pipes. All right, so what we need to label on here would be the size and the material. Okay, so for this project, we're using PVC pipes and you want to make sure that you put the correct size on here. So we're going to use leader. So let's go to multi leader here and we're going to click on this first one right here and drag it out. Now, if you notice when you move it out, you get the arrow. If you put it too close, you're not going to get the arrow and you always want to have the arrow. So pull it out enough so that you can see the arrow and then click and then we're going to go ahead and type um, four inch PVC. I actually want to put the millimeters here as well, which would be 100 millimeters. And what we want to also do is to put the diameter symbol here because this is a circular pipe. So we're going to put the diameter symbol, which would be the shortcut would be percentage percentage C as in cat. So that's how we want to have that. And then guess what? We could just copy this and paste it on the other areas that we need it. So we need one here. We need one here. We're going to need one down here as well. And we're going to move the arrows so that they can, um, point in the correct direction. So let's do that with these. I'm going to do actually, you know what, let me delete these. And I'm going to copy this one and paste it here and here. And then for this one, I'm going to point it in this direction, point it here as well i need another arrow from this to point to this pipe right here so what i'm going to do is to highlight that go to the leader drop down and say add leader all right so once we click on that we now have the ability to add another leader and if we want we could actually add another one and another one and another one 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 but okay i can't undo all right let's remove them remove Remove, remove. Uh, I don't need that one. I don't need that one. I don't need that. All right. So that's that. Um, yeah, it looks good so far. I think we have another four inch out here. We're going to make this one. This is the storm water pipe. We're going to make that four inch as well. But guess what? We also have some two inch ones. And these are some smaller PVC pipes that are running from the lavatory to the bathroom drain here, floor drain. So this would be two inches. And of course, if four equal 100, then two would equal to what? Almost man, 50. That's how I know you're some brilliant dudes and girls. All right. So that's going to be that. And then I'm going to copy this again and put it in the kitchen because we have another two inch pipe inside of here. So as you can see, we're just going around and labeling each pipe, making sure that they have the correct information on them. All right. I also want to label this little thing right here. So this would be a four inch. We could leave the PVC on there. Um, PVC down spout or down pipe, whichever you want to use. So this would be the down spout from the roof gutter and then it would go into this pvc pipe all the way to the river at the back of this property all right so that's it for the drainage plan i just have two little additional notes that i would add text i'm gonna just add it right here i'm gonna storm water line to river at back of property all right so i would put this here but if you notice the line, the pipe is running through the text and I kind of want to block that out. So what I would do is to just highlight everything, go to mask and choose background. And of course, I'm going to be using the drawing background. That's all you need to do and hit OK. And so that will get rid of the line in the background there. And of course, I'm going to copy this text now and I'm going to paste it down here and I'm going to write something similar, except that it's going to be more along the lines of sewer line to main community sewer system. 
something like that. Yeah, of course, you might be able to word it a little better than that. But essentially, what we're going to do when we create our view is to cut off. We're going to cut the drawing about here because we don't want to see this part of the drainage system and we don't want to see that little back part. I can stay. Those areas will be seen on the site plan. All right. So you don't have to worry about that. All right. So that would be it for the drainage plan. Now we would go over to the electrical plan. And guys, we are like 95% done already um, because there's nothing really to be done with the electrical plan. All we need really is a legend to show all the symbols and what they represent. And if you remembered when we were doing the electrical plan, we had already done our legend. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open that legend up. So this is the legend that I have created from the time we had done the electrical plan. All right. Now I have this legend available on my Patreon page, guys. So if you need to download it, definitely go over there. The AutoCAD file is there, but I also have the PDF file linked in the description below if you need uh, something to reference for your project. All right. Now, the good thing about having your legends in, in, a, in a separate drawing is that we can link this drawing to all of our projects. All right. So what we're going to do here is to make this drawing a part of our current project. And how we're going to do that is we're going to go to our construct and we're going to make it an element. All right. So we're going to just right click and we're going to say save current drawing as an element. So we go ahead and I'm going to rename this to say electrical and drainage legend. Okay. And if you notice, I renamed it because I want to add a couple other stuff inside of here. What I'm going to do is to probably just copy one of these. By the way, guys, this legend I made from scratch. So this is something you will have to spend time and do. There are some tools out there that we can use to create legends, but I do not have access to those. So um, you'll have to go ahead and figure that out. Definitely go ahead and do the same. So I'm going to rename this to be drainage legend. All right, so basically what I'm going to do is to just um, have, I'm going to be copying these down, one, two, three, and I'm going to be having the abbreviations here. So I'm going to have M, H, I'm also going to have trap, gully, basin, I'm going to have grease, trap, basin, and I'm going to give the descriptions here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this legend here. I'm going to copy this down like that. And then I'm going to get rid of this piece. All right, so here I have created a little legend for the drainage system with all the different abbreviations and what they mean. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save. Now, remember that this is now the drawing that is unique to our current project. So we're going to go back over to our drainage electrical and now we're going to XREF overlay this into this project. So we're going to go XREF overlay. And if you look closely, we can see that um, our legends are currently at the bottom here. And these are very small because I did draw these at a one in one scale. So you have to be mindful of where these are located because when you XREF them into your project, if you had them out here, they will appear out here. All right. I had mine in the corner here and I also drew them at a one in one scale, which is what they are right here. When we put them on the sheet, they're going to come out at the perfect size. So don't worry about the size. Just be mindful of what the scale is. All right. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and create some additional notes that we could add to this drawing. All right. So I'm going to put them probably over here. So go click on the A. I'm going to draw a box and I'm going to just copy some notes that I have and I'm going to just paste them in. All right. So these are my notes for my electrical and drainage. Right, I'm going to give them some numbers as well. And of course, these notes would vary depending on the project. I just literally just copied these from another project and just paste them in here. So um, bear that in mind. 
All right, so this would be the notes I have for my electrical and drainage. All right, so these are done at a scale of quarter inch. You have to bear your scales in mind. If you forgot what scale it was at, you could actually go over to your uh, properties here and look and where you see annotative scale, it is saying this object was done at a quarter inch scale. Guys, this is important, all right? So now I have my electrical notes, I have my plumbing notes, I have my legends and I have, um, everything everything is done all i need to do is to go ahead and create some views so we're going to go over to our views tab here and we're going to go to new first one we're going to create is our drainage and electrical layout plan i'm going to hit define window and we're going to define our window to be about from here all the way down to about here make sure that you're capturing all that you need i'm going to hit that I'm going to hit enter and everything else looks good. I'm going to hit OK. So that's done. We're going to create a view again. We're using the same scale here and we're going to call this, um, could call it notes, define window. It's going to be this. Enter. OK. And then we're going to do our legend, which we're going to zoom in. But remember now that this is at a one in one scale. So we do have to change our scale down here to one in one before we create our view. So new view and we're going to do both legends separate. So we're going to say legend electrical define window. This would be our electrical legend enter okay then we're going to do our drainage separate define window and then we define our drainage legend enter okay so now when we go to our view manager we can see that we have all of our views here and if you click on each you can see the preview down there and that's very important because when we go to our view we can also see that we have them listed over here as well all right and these are what we're going to be placing on our sheets so let me change back to the quarter inch scale one last thing to top that off is to add our title to this drawing so we're going to go ahead and go to title click on that and of course, we're going to just draw our title down here, just like that. All right, so let's move this up a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Or we could actually move the title down a little bit as well. Good. Of course, it has the wrong scale on it. I don't know why, but I'm not even going to worry about that. Sometimes AutoCAD have those glitches, but we're going to leave that there. All right. So that's where we're going to end this video for today. We're going to hit the save button. And so we have everything that we need for our drainage and electrical plants. All right, guys. All right. So that is it for this video today. I hope that you learned something and you know what to do already. Like and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to share the video with your colleagues and your friends and your enemies too. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I want to say a shout out to my patrons on my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Definitely check out my Patreon page and also check out my Instagram page as well. And uh, yeah, until then, see you guys in the next video. Boom, bam. <laughs>